Hey everybody, it's me Lone, back with a 4 76 video, and today I want to do another guide video, this time on the Pepper Shaker. This is the brand new weapon which is being introduced with Steel Rain, specifically with Meat Week, and today I want to tell you everything you need to know about this new weapon, including how to get it, its mods, its stats, etc. So if this video does help you, please like it, I would really appreciate it. Your previous likes on my last videos have really supported them, so thank you so much for that. Please subscribe if you're new, but with all that out of the way, let's get to the video. Alrighty, we're in the game and here it is. This is the brand new Pepper Shaker weapon. It is effectively a heavy gun slash shotgun hybrid, which has some implications when it comes to its perk cards, but I'll cover that later in the video. In terms of its base form without any modifications, this gun uses shotgun shells. It takes a little bit to start up when you go to shoot it, kind of like the Gauss minigun, but once it gets going, it is freaking awesome. I would consider it a top tier weapon for sure, especially when you compare it to pretty much all shotgun guns out there out there but even most heavy guns too now it is a multi-projectile weapon so what that means is that effectively damage is calculated per pellet landed on enemies so when you look at this look at its base damage in the pit boy and we'll do that in a second you have to split that damage by eight of the pellets that it shoots per shot so it does more damage effectively the more of those pellets land on enemies so you need to keep that in mind is it is definitely an up close performer for sure also the important thing with this weapon it is tradable so you can actually trade it between your friends or to other people so if there's someone that has a really good pepper shaker that you want in terms of its legendary effects that they don't want you can actually trade it and then vice versa so i'll show you that in action i'll unfavorite this you can simply drop it it's not going to tell you that it's going to be destroyed or anything like that and you can go to pick it up so yes it is tradable which is freaking awesome so that covers the overview of this weapon let me tell you first off how to get it and then we'll go into the rest of the topic Okay, so the next topic, how do you actually get your hands on the Pepper Shaker? Well, let me tell you, it's technically not a part of Steel Rain, which again is releasing on July 7. It's actually going to be a part of Meat Week, which this year is taking place from the 17th to the 23rd of August. So you're going to have to wait a little bit to get your hands on this weapon, but trust me again, it is going to be worthwhile. Though I do need to stress, it is the opportunity to get your hands on the plans for this weapon. It is not guaranteed, and I'll cover that in just a second. So very quickly, what is Meat Week? Well, Meat Week revolves around the main public event called Graham's Meat Cook. That takes place here, where I am on the map, between the Moonshiner Shack and Vault 76, or near them. And when the public event appears on the map on the hour every hour, make sure you click on it and participate in it because it can complete very quickly. And if you miss out, you won't get the opportunity to get the rewards as part of that particular public event. But you, of course, can always wait until the next one. This Graham's Meat Cook event is going to be supplemented or supported by several other public events called Primal Cuts. And I'm actually joining Graham's Meat Cook right now. Um, so there it is. Um, again, this event is supported by the Primal Cuts event, which between the events of Graham's Meat Cook are going to appear around the map. And Primal Cuts allows you to obtain something called Prime Meats, which can help you during this event. Um, and when you're here actually participating in this event, you're going to have to do several activities. You're going to have to, again, deposit some of those Prime Meats you, you collected um, during Primal Cuts. You can tap on the barrels over there. You can do, do several things here to participate in, in Graham's Meat Cook. And hopefully you successfully complete it. But again, it's not too hard to do so. And it usually completes very quickly, especially when people have a lot of Prime Meat collected. So once you successfully complete Graham's Meat Cook, you're going to get a bunch of rewards. And the plan for the Pepper Shaker is going to be a rare reward. So you need to try several times, probably. You might be unlucky. You might be very lucky. But eventually, hopefully, you get the plan to craft the Pepper Shaker. And then to actually get the Pepper Shaker itself, you craft it as a, at a weapons workbench. So my weapons workbench is just up here, which is why I have my camp or my makeshift camp just here. And I'll show you me actually crafting one because it, it's it's not too hard. But again, you get the plan for it so you can um, craft it whenever you want. Let me turn on my light here. So let me craft it just so you can see some of the components uh, for crafting one. Uh, so heavy guns, it's technically under heavy guns. Pepper shaker, you can craft it at level 50. I don't have enough springs, but those are the components there. You can see those there, yep. And you can, you can craft it from level 35, 40, 45, 50, but do so at level 50, and that way you get a pepper shaker in your inventory. So not too hard. Hopefully most of you get the plan for the, um, the pepper shaker to actually craft it but again the weapon is tradable so don't stress too much if you don't get that plan 
So, with that out of the way, let's go to the next topic. Okay, so now let's cover the base stats of this gun, and I want to stress, these are the base stats, these aren't affected by any per card, legendary effects, or weapon mods for that matter. I want to show you the base stats so you know what you're working from, and of course, once you optimize your build, get your per cards in there, weapon, uh, modify your weapon, and also get some awesome legendary effects, that's when the stats are going to be much, much better. So starting with the damage, the damage is 60. As I mentioned, this is a multi-projectile weapon, so effectively you need to go 60 divided by 8, so each of the 8 pellets does 7.5 damage. So if all of your pellets land on an enemy, that's when you're dealing the full 60. That's why I say you really need to be using this weapon up close. The ammo, as mentioned, are shotgun shells, but again, you can mod this weapon to be using different ammo, and that actually improves the weapon damage, which is really cool. I'll cover that in a second. The fire rate is 41, the range is 96, the accuracy is 32, and before modifications, again, the weight is 14.4. So it's going to be fairly heavy, especially when fully modded. Now, let me show you actually a bloodied version of this gun in action once you, again, get all your weapon mods in there and, and, and optimize your build. So what I'm going to do is go to my, to, to my uh, perk cards, and as I mentioned, none are equipped. Now, I want to equip... A bunch of uh, shotgunner and heavy gunner per cards. I'll cover this very, very soon. Uh, master heavy gunner and that. And then I'm going to get skeet shooter in there as well. And the last one I want to get is... Where is it? It's up here, I think. Uh, which is the one that I want? It is... a oh, bloody mess. That's what I want. Bloody mess. Okay. So, now let's go to Toxic Goo. And we're going to go all the way down to bloodied. Well, actually, this is a bit more than bloodied, but you'll see why I'm doing this. So now, I'm going to equip my bloodied pepper shaker. And now the damage is 228. So then divide that by 8, and that's the damage per pellet. But this one is also boosted by some weapon mods, and it has different ammo. It actually uses plasma cartridges. So that's why the damage is freaking awesome. This is why this, this gun, as I said, is top tier. And when you use it... Look at this, bro. This is freaking sick. <laughs> like, I love using this thing. This is why it's so effective. So for sure, don't just trust those base stats. You want to be modifying it. You want to be optimizing your build like I am right now. Even using one with the Aristocrats um, legendary effect, which is new, which is fully boosting my damage because I have over 29,000 caps. I have almost 200 damage and then the energy, energy damage as well. This one is using laser uh, or fusion uh, cells, I should say. So that's freaking cool as well. So that's what this gun can do. Freaking love it. Now let's cover the actual mods and I'll show you these mods in the actual weapons workbench. Alrighty, so jumping back to the base version of the weapon, let's cover all the weapon modifications for the pepper shaker. And it's quite simple. You can modify the barrel, the magazine, and the sights. So starting with the barrel, the standard barrel, again, has a damage of 60, rate of fire of 41, and it fires 8 pellets per shot. The dual barrel has an improved rate of fire and improved damage. So the damage increases from 60 to 66, and the rate of fire increases from 41 to 61, which is nice. It's a nice balance between the two. The hex barrel, on the other hand, has a superior rate of fire, but decreased damage. So the damage drops from 60 to 54, but the rate of fire doubles from 41 to 82, which is really nice. And then you have the single barrel, which is nice because it actually means you're firing more pellets per shot. In fact, it is doubling the amount of pellets. It's going from 8 to 16. So depending on the situation, each of these can perform fairly well. They each have their upsides and downsides. I like the balance between damage and, and fire rate that the dual barrel gives you. I like the superior fire rate of the hex barrel. And I really like firing more pellets per shot. Double the amount of pellets, especially when you're up close and personal with your enemies and you're landing all of those pellets. That is really nice. So let's jump to the magazine. Again, the standard mag, you're using shotgun shells. When you use the laser magazine, you're adding energy damage and you're changing your ammo type from shotgun shells to fusion cells. So you're still dealing that 60, 60 ballistic damage as a base, but you're adding as a base 10 energy damage, which is nice. And then the plasma magazine, it's very similar. You're adding energy damage, swapping to plasma cartridges, and your ballistic damage is still 60. And again, you have 10 more energy damage as a base. So as a, a as mentioned before, and as I showed to you before, you'll change your ammo. It, it looks really cool. You get the red of the laser, the green of the plasma. I personally prefer the plasma, um, but it's up to you which one you want to use, whether ballistic, laser, or plasma. It's totally up to you. 
And then the last one are the standard sights or the sights. So you've got the standard sights and then the gunner sight. And I'll show you what that actually looks like because that's the best way to showcase it. Technically, the, the gunner sight increases your accuracy from 32 to 44 when you're using it. So to show you what that actually looks like, um, I think I'm holding the, yeah, this is the base one without the gunner sights. And then we'll go to, let's go to the bloodied one. So here's the, the gunner sight. So when you, you aim down the sight, you have this. Some people like it, some don't, but those are all the weapon modifications for the Pepper Shaker. Okay, so now let's cover the perk cards as promised for this gun. And as mentioned, because this is a hybrid heavy gun slash shotgun, it means you can actually use either or both heavy gun perk cards and shotgun perk cards at the exact same time. And that makes this build and this gun really flexible and creative, especially in compared to other builds. And it leads to some interesting situations. So for instance, in strength, I can now have five different perk cards that are boosting my damage instead of just the regular three. So I have expert heavy gunner, heavy gunner, master heavy gunner, shotgunner, and expert shot shotgunner, all boosting the damage on my pepper shaker to its maximum amount. That is freaking awesome. It means you're absolutely wrecking enemies with this gun. But if you'd prefer, you can drop one of these, for instance, and use uh, lock and load to increase your reload speed because, again, it is a heavy gun. But instead of lock and load, you can actually use, where is it? Um, scatter shot because scatter shot as a shotgun means your gun not only reloads faster but it also weighs 90 percent less so that would be even better than lock and load it is so cool i love this build man but i want to increase my damage to the maximum so we're going to go expert shotgunner going to perception you have skeet shooter for instance so your pepper shaker has ex excellent accuracy and also spread so that is great it means it's pinpoint and accurate for what it can be as a you know heavy gunner and a shotgunner um, let's move on. Stabilized. Oh my god, it's a heavy gun. So if you're using the pepper shaker and power armor, it's freaking awesome because again, you have excellent accuracy and you're ignoring 45% of armor. Make sure you have this if you go up against the queen and you want to try this or Earl Williams or any other hard enemy or just have it all the time if, if you're using power armor. Stabilize in comparison with skeet shooter. It's a deadly combo, let me tell you. And then you have enforcer because it's a shotgun again. You can have an increased stagger chance and an cha increased chance to cripple a limb if you want to. And then you have one gun army here to have even more of an increased a stagger chance and an increased chance to cripple a limb so i think i covered all the heavy gun and shotgun perk cards out there if i miss one let me know in the comments but the point is as soon as you find a perk card that has the word shotgunner in it or heavy gunner in it it means you can use it to benefit and boost the pepper shaker it is so cool okay so i'm losing my voice finally and very quickly let's talk about the legendary effects for this gun and quite simply it can have most of them in the game so bloody junkie the new aristocrat furious fast fire rate fast reload all that kind of stuff you can have it for the pepper shaker excluding explosive you cannot have explosive for the pepper shaker which effectively means that a fast fire rate pepper shaker in terms of pure damage per second is probably going to be your best bet but the primary effect just depends on what you want as your build. So if you use a junkied build, you have a junkied pepper shaker. If you have a bloodied build like me, you use a bloodied or a vampire if you want to get that healing at low health. You can use aristocrat, which gives you increased damage based upon how many caps you're holding. Furious, all that kind of stuff. You can figure out your own build, but the pepper shaker is fairly flexible in that regard, excluding explosive, as I mentioned. So now let's get to the conclusion of this video. Alrighty, we're finally done. Thank you so much, Way Sanders. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourselves and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.